Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sides from Malayala. So, JOSA have officially released the round one results for uh, JOSA 2024, and uh, here is uh, the video what you have to do after that. I will be showing you as much as possible in this particular video. So, please watch this carefully. So, I will be leaving the official link in the description. Just uh, click that official link, and then you can see you and you can enter your application number, password, and security pin, and click on login. So, once you click on login, you will be receiving an OTP to your uh, official uh, mobile number or enter or the mail id which you have registered so then you can enter the otp and click on submit in order to log in okay so after entering the otp you can click on submit and now you can see this is the home page so usually whenever you uh, start login for the first time everything will be in the red in the right side incomplete like that it will be there so you can see view seat allotment result this student already have seen his results so that's why it is green turned into green completed so there are four options willingness submission upload document seat acceptance fee payment so all should be converted into green by the end of this date of counseling i'll be showing you the dates as well if you see it is mandatory for everyone to pay seat acceptance fee in order to continue for the further rounds along with your seat if you don't pay your seat will be cancelled and you will be out of the counseling so please be careful even if you put floats like freeze or slide anything you have to pay the seat acceptance fee so this is a uh, seat allotment result you can see first round the uh, choice number 37 and Eddie Warangal mechanical so it is almost similar to the mock rounds he is a EWS category student and but he got allotted in open category he got uh, 15,040 rank and under home state quota he got allotted that then next step is you have to download this uh, initial seat allotment letter so every round you can download this so that's a good practice just click on print and you can just uh, download the uh, certificate there and you can save it to your uh, like computer or mobile whatever so this is one step fine the next step will be willingness submission so in this willingness submission you have float freeze and slide so if you put float that means any option above that better choice number if you put slide that means only same campus better option above freeze is i don't want to participate more i'm happy with the seat whatever i've got that's fine so you have to read the instructions given carefully because once you submit this you can't change it change it for this round okay so that is very important so i have cho chosen float uh, so you have to re-enter your password and enter the odb which you are going to receive on your registered mobile number and email id and then click on submit willingness okay so please check carefully if because if i am keeping float now in this round i can't change in the next round i can either keep, uh, continue with the float De by default it will be continued in float or i can either shift it to slide or freeze but if i choose slide now i can either continue in slide by default or just i can just move to freeze i can't come back to float if i put slide now okay so please be careful okay regarding freeze float slide there is a separate video on my channel please check that uh, and watch it completely so to understand the concept of freeze slide float so yeah enter your password enter the otp and then click on submit willingness once you click on submit willingness you will be seeing that you have submitted uh, willingness of float uh, for this round uh, and uh, you, ip address submitted time everything is shown here so you can see here uh, academic program of higher preference choice in any campus or any institute is what mentioned there so now coming to the third step that is upload documents so coming to upload documents they are asking you for class 10 certificate or date of birth certificate so better apply your upload your class 10 mark sheet and then class 12 mark sheet uh, or equivalent uh, and then ews certificate because this standard belongs to EWS if you are OBCNCL they will ask OBCNCL SC for SC ST category for ST category and if you are also PWD they will ask also ask for PWD and there is state of eligibility certificate as well so in that place also again you can upload your class 12 mark sheet only because the class uh, state where you complete your class 12 is called state of eligibility for you so you can upload the same and the medical certificate so there is a format already regarding that also there is a separate video on my channel please check that and yeah you have to upload all that and once you upload all this then you are allowed to pay the seat acceptance fee if you see here uh, this is the home page right I, only this two got turned into green previously when i opened it was only one green so now if you see it is like still showing that incomplete in red for upload documents and seat acceptance fee payment you can see so once you upload uh, documents then only the seat acceptance fee payment uh, uh, link will be opened okay so uh, in order to like uh, once you upload documents and after that you pay the amount right so i already said you that seat acceptance fee will be 35000 for general obc and cl ews all the students in that and scst pwd 17500 and 
uh, like yeah if you are a pwd also it's 17500 if you don't pay that fees as mentioned here you will not be allowed uh, to continue forward with the counseling if you get seat allotment and you want to continue further either you want to put float or slide or freeze any the option if you want to put you have to pay the seat acceptance fee in order to go for the next rounds so please be careful in this many people don't know this particular thing okay so they are they will be in dilemma that anyhow i put float right so why to pay the fees no that is not the case you have to pay in order to continue further that's it okay then after paying the heat acceptance fee whatever documents you have uploaded will be sent to the college in which you got allotted they will be verifying your documents so after they verify your documents you will be uh, seen one dialog box here that your documents got verified please download the proof of seat acceptance come verification letter so that is also very important you have to download that letter okay so once your documents are verified and if at all your documents are not verified so what is the next step i'll just show you guys so now you can see here round one today 20th 10 am they have allotted the seat so by 24th 5 pm by 5 pm you have to complete all these steps you have to complete all these steps by 24th 5 pm at any cost i mean willingness submission do upload document seat acceptance fee payment and if at all there is uh, there are any queries raised by your uh, verification center then you have to resolve that by you can see june uh, 26th uh, 26th 5 pm you have to last day to respond to query if there are any queries raised by your verifying center you have to complete that so that query will be seen here if at all any mistakes in your documents they will upload here there is a uh, this particular certificate is wrong please upload the right one or something there is a issue with the certificate something like that they will mention they will give the reason as well so you have to complete that before uh, 26th 5 pm if you don't do your seat will be cancelled again i'm saying okay and on 27th you are going to get the second round of allotment by 5 pm so make sure you complete all this by uh, 24th 5 pm guys last date for fee payment round one okay doc upload documents uh, willingness submission seat acceptance fee payment everything should be completed before 24th june 5 pm okay so yeah that's it guys that's it for this video if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind